Hey guys, it's Joanne from 15spatulas.com. Today we are going to make a caramel apple crisp. And what I love about fruit crisps is you get kind of the same effect as a fruit pie, but it's so much less work. And who doesn't love a little crumb topping? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a half cup of all-purpose flour to a big bowl. We're also gonna add a quarter cup of turbinado sugar. That's the crunchy raw sugar. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of regular granulated sugar. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a small pinch of salt. We're gonna give that a little stir with a spoon just to combine it. I'm gonna add six tablespoons of cubed cold butter. And just kind of work this mixture together until it's crumbly and combined. Once it's kind of clumped up like this, the last thing you wanna do is add in a half cup of old-fashioned rolled oats. Just kind of work that in. And then we're gonna to toss this mixture in either the freezer or the refrigerator, just to keep this from getting warm while we work on the apples. I have two pounds of Granny Smith apples here. I really like to use these because they're a great baking apple. And I'm going to peel and core these, and then I'm gonna cut the apples into small chunks. Got my apples all cut up into chunks. So now we're gonna add a little bit of sugar to this. I'm actually gonna add three tablespoons of homemade caramel sauce, but if you don't have caramel, you could also do three tablespoons of brown sugar as well. This is the caramel that we made last week. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a little pinch of salt, and a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then we're gonna stir this all around to combine. Once the apples have been nicely tossed, you're gonna dump it into an eight by eight baking dish. And then you're gonna take your crumb topping and you're just gonna sprinkle it all over the top. All right, so this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about one hour until the top is golden brown and the apples are bubbling. My apple crisp is done. It's golden brown and beautiful. So I usually just take a spoon and put a little scoop in a bowl and then you have to add a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. And then if you're gonna go all the way, also have to do a little drizzle of our homemade caramel sauce. This is indulgent. Let's go in for a taste. Oh my god. You need to make this. You can get the recipe on my website, 15spatulas.com. I put a link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I'll see you next Thursday.